What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Forging the New MCU, a series where I break down each project in my own Marvel movie universe that I covered in a series of live streams with myself and Marvel Mad. I can link them below and you can check them out if you wish to see the entire series as a whole. For this though, I'm going to be talking about the finale to phase one of the cosmic saga, The Avengers. Before I get started though, make sure to subscribe, like this video, share it around if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it, and let's get to it. So first off, I'm going to give you the synopsis to the Avengers, which is, the Avengers face AIM, led by MODOK, as he seeks a potent source of dangerous cosmic power to enhance their weapons and technology. Intent on locking the secrets of an ancient cosmic force, AIM's goal may lead to the end of the world. The Avengers must thwart MODOK's relentless pursuit, unravel the mysteries of this cosmic energy, and prevent its catastrophic potential from falling into the wrong hands. So right away, you know MODOK and AIM are the villains in this movie. And this is, again, the established Avengers in this universe. So I'm going to go over the team soon, but I just wanted to explain why I chose MODOK and AIM as the villains. So MODOK and AIM just seem like they'd be an organization in this established universe that would be posing a threat to these heroes. And when I explain later what they're actually doing, it kind of links to more things. So what you could tell from the synopsis is that they're hunting this cosmic power. They've detected something, they're hunting it, and they are trying to use that power to enhance their weapons, which could lead to, you know, worldwide domination. Um, conquering and stuff like that but the Avengers have to stand in their way and kind of stop them before they get to that power before it's too late so the team in this universe is going to be Iron Man Captain America who leads the team Ant-Man Wasp Hulk Wonder Man Hawkeye She-Hulk Mockingbird and Hercules so obviously you get the original six from the comics in this team but you get a few other heroes which kind of you know build that as the established team everyone i mentioned from iron man all the way to the hulk would be the core original avengers and then wonder man on to hercules would be some new additions that have joined the team recently so you're gonna have the more established avengers in this team as well as some newcomers and you know it kind of builds that the world building in this universe obviously some of these characters are linked to different things so you know there might be some other places showing up in the future but i think this group is very very essential you need kind of a variety of different characters and i think these fit really well together so that's why i chose a variety of characters and some of the most popular Avengers characters over their 60 years of existence, you know? So it's going to be revealed that the cosmic force that MODOK and AIM are searching for is a comatose Marvel, who is buried deep in the Earth. Obviously, Marvel is the first Captain Marvel. He's a soldier from the Kree, has the same powers as Captain Marvel. In this universe, many years ago, he's crashed into Earth and he's gone comatose. And this awakening in his cosmic power has alarmed AIM and they've gone to see what exactly this power is. They don't know it's Marvel. they just know there's a, a cosmic signature in the Earth and they're going to find it. Once they find Marvel, obviously he joins the Avengers at the end. There's a huge fight between them and MODOK and AIM. There's a huge action sequence, all that. Marvel is a huge, huge force for the Avengers to have and obviously full of cosmic power, this may come into play again later in this franchise. So at the end of this battle, obviously MODOK and AIM are defeated, and MODOK reveals he is working for a higher power, and the end of the world is imminent. So obviously the Avengers are shocked by this. They're like, wait, what do you mean the world is ending? Obviously you're a villain, and we know you're all for like, you know, conquering and destruction and that, but if you're working for someone, and they know the world is ending, what the heck is going on? So Hank, who is Ant-Man, suggests that they start to uncover other cosmic artifacts that may be targets for this higher power. So obviously each project from Fantastic Four up until now have had some kind of cosmic influence or some kind of, you know, overarching villain presence kind of thing. People are working for others and there's something going on in the background that no one knows. So obviously 
this is going to be a huge reveal at the end of who exactly is behind this. So after Modoc drops this, Hank, you know, suggests we need to look into who is behind this. We need to really tap into it because this is getting out of hand. I'm going to get into the post credit scene, which kind of explains more about what this situation is. And it's very exciting. And this is how I envision it in my head, how this would happen. So the scientist we saw from the post credit scene of Black Panther walks through the halls of the medieval castle. She pushes through two giant doors that lead to a throne room with a figure resting at its end on the throne. She informs the figure of a growing suspicion that the heroes of Earth are beginning to show a sense of urgency on the number of attacks on cosmic relics around the planet. The figure is revealed to be Dr. Doom, whose goal is to obtain all these objects for reasons unknown at this moment. So there you go. The main villain of this saga has been dropped now. His name is Dr. Doom. Obviously, I've dropped hints in each project of his kind of involvement, Latveria and all that. Well, it's official now. Dr. Doom is the villain in the saga, and it's going to get better from there. I'm really excited to share what comes next and where he goes in the future of this saga. I created this image that I featured in my live stream with a mock-up of who I wanted to play Doctor Doom, and I chose Henry Cavill. Personally, I think Henry Cavill would be an awesome Doctor Doom. This is who I'm hoping they cast in the actual MCU, but if that doesn't work out, then he would be my Doctor Doom in my franchise. Obviously, he's a really good actor. Yes, he was Superman. There's gonna be that kind of, you know, what, he's already Superman. Now he's in the MCU as Doctor Doom. Yes, he's allowed to do that, he's an actor. So, I think he would be really good in the role. He has that kind of physicality for the role. Obviously, he's a massive guy. He does have the look for Victor Von Doom before, you know, the whole Scar thing. And he still kind of does when he is scarred. And in this mock-up, he's not wearing the mask because I wanted to show what he would look like without it and to show he is the one behind the mask. So I am really excited to show where he goes from here. And the Avengers is just kickstarting a massive, massive event that's going to go in phase three. So I'm very excited to show what is happening with that. I really hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this project and the finale and just phase one as a whole in the comments below. I'd really appreciate any feedback. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and share it around. And I will see you all in the next video, which is kicking off phase two, Doctor Strange. Thank you again for watching and I will see you all next time.